Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to make a driving a racing game in Unity and welcome to episode 14. So this episode we're going to look at some little components of a racing game. So we're going to look at a mini map on our course. Uh, we'll look at our second track and we'll also look at an image on our actual track selection screen. So I think that's what we're going to start with. We'll start with an image on the track selection. So let's go to that scene to begin with. So double click here. And let's double click our canvas so we can get it in view and let's just pan around so we can see it a little better so currently we have just this single button which is completely blank and has nothing attached to it but when we click it it does take us to the actual track so let's replace that with an image of the track now it's really really easy to do in our textures folder which is down the bottom here i'm going to right click create and have a new folder and call this thumbnails. So this will contain all the thumbnails of each and every track. And we can just drag and drop this little thumbnail that I have. Uh, I'm not going to put this on the website because all it really is is just a screenshot of the actual track itself in an image format. That's all there is to it. So to do that, all you would do is take an image of your track, however you want it, do whatever you want in Photoshop or Paint or whatever, and just save it as an image. That's all I've done. Next one we need to do on the button itself, we can't exactly drag and drop that image over onto here because as you can see, it just doesn't let us. So we have to change this image by going over here, clicking on it, over to the inspector panel, change it texture type and change it to sprite 2D and UI and then click on apply. Now we can actually drag and drop that into this section over here. And you can see that the track now displays as it should do. So I'm just going to resize the button here just to make it a little bit more um, accurate because it's a bit odd right now. It's square when the image itself is slightly rectangular. So I'm just going to select this tool and just drag it this way to about there. So now that is an actual button. It's an actual image and a button. So we can click it and off we go to track select. So you just have to remember that having these images, you just need to change it to 2D and UI Sprite. That's all there is to it. So when we have different tracks going along all over here, under here, they'll just be Sprite images again. So next thing we'll do is let's have a look at our mini map. Now this is a fun thing to do because it, it's amazing the way it works and how it works is having basically two cameras doing two different things, but displaying on the same screen. So in our race area, what we'll do, oh, let's save our track selection, of course. What we need to do is have a camera on either the car itself or floating above the track. So if we go to our car and assume that up above it, we're going to have a camera looking down. So right click on the car, go to camera down here. And you can see in the camera preview, we just need to change it. So this camera needs to face downwards from a height. So we can drag it upwards to maybe there and then rotate to face downwards. So we need to rotate on the X by, it should be about 90 degrees, I would assume. Yep. And then you can either rotate um, by 90 on the Y or minus 90, or maybe not at all. It's, it's entirely up to you, it honestly is. But the idea of what's gonna happen is this will now render onto a texture. So to do that in our textures, we need to right click, create, and go to render texture. And we're gonna call this mini map text. And on the camera now, all you need to do is where it says target texture in the inspector panel, just drag and drop that mini map text onto there. Uh, you may see a change in the actual little icon down here. You may not, it doesn't matter too much because what's happening now is whatever this camera sees is reflecting, well I say reflecting, it's being put onto this texture here. Now you're thinking that's all good and well, but hopefully you guys have probably figured out by now that this texture is an actual texture, so it can go on anything. You could put it on a cube, you could put it on a sphere, you could even put it on a terrain if you wanted to, but what we're gonna do is put it on a UI element raw image. So game object, UI, raw image. So I'm going to put this image somewhere on my screen. Where should I put it? I think I'm going to put it 
maybe down the bottom right, I think. So let's have it anchored, bottom right, zero out the position. And I think what we'll do is we'll actually have two raw images because I've, I've done uh, tutorials on minimaps before. Generally what I like to do is have an outline and then have the image in the middle. So what I think I'll do is change the color on this to, let's have it a very dark blue. And I'm going to move it to about there. And then that raw image itself, I'm going to right click and rename it as mini map object. And I think I'll increase it to 102 by 102. And then hold control, press D on that, right click and rename. And we'll call this mini map render and then drag and drop that minimap render onto the minimap object and then let's shrink it to 100 by 100. Now the final thing we need to do to get this minimap actually working correctly is to drag and drop this texture onto there and I'm hoping we should be able to see if we change the color to white that we now have a minimap. So let's press play and see what happens. Minimap down there, perfect. So you can see the minimap is actually reflecting where the car is going. It's following our car at all times. There we go. So the other way of doing a minimap is well, once you've got this process set up, you could theoretically change your minimap however you wanted to. But if we take our camera and let's say take it out of the car, so bring it to somewhere here. So it's, um, it's not a child object anymore. And you can bring up the camera as far as you want. And let's get it a bit more into position. So I'm going to zoom out, bring it this way. So we've got the entire track in view of the camera. Press play. And it works the same way. But we can't really see it too well at the moment because it's, it's kind of small. But the idea is you can see how this camera is working as a mini map. So it's all about that process of rendering onto a texture to get it working properly. So I'm going to undo all that and have my camera back on my car. And I think what I'll actually do is increase the size of this to 204 by 204. Just to make that mini a bit bigger. But we need to actually do everything else to make it look decent. So I'm going to bring it up to... Oops up to here and just increase this to 200 by 200 and that's zero zero oops that should actually be center that's my fault so zero zero now hopefully this minimap should look a little bit better because it's a bit bigger so it's obviously up to you how big you want your minimap to be whether you want it to be as big as this or whether you want it to be smaller but one thing we have to remember as well So you can see the minimap has gone a bit odd there. This comes down to how we actually use the... Uh... Sorry, <laughs> just trying to control the car here. This comes down to how we actually control the axis. But what I'm going to point out here is... Um, I'll fill this probably the next episode is get rid of all this. Because this is our end sequence. So we don't really need all this over here, do we? So we can dispose of that. And like I say, we'll do that in the next episode. Because what I want to do at this point is begin our second track. So I'm gonna save that track there and then take race area 001, hold control, press D. We've literally duplicated that scene now. And if we go into race area 001, it's the same as number two. So we could actually take number two now and make it a completely different track. So let's give that a quick go. So you can obviously take as much time as you need to with this because there's no real need for you to kind of uh, follow what I do here. It's all down to you how you want your tracks to be. So theoretically, to create another track, what you would have to do is actually get rid of this terrain. You can't modify this terrain because if you do, it will affect your original track 
area. Now you can keep pretty much everything else, but terrain, let's click on it and press delete. So pretty much everything has gone now, but we can go to game object and go to 3 uh, 3D object and terrain and it'll reappear. So I'm going to take this opportunity to move the terrain this way a little more and let's focus in on our car and start creating a bit more of a track. So I'd like this area to be a bit more kind of urban-y, maybe with buildings. So I'm going to start the actual terrain, edit texture, add texture, and I'm going to start with the asphalt itself. I'm not going to do too much with this track at the moment, but what I am going to do is change it to a nighttime theme because that's what I want to aim for. So let's go to window, let's go to lighting and settings, and let's change the skybox material to something darker. We'll try sky zero one. Let's change the intensity multiplier to zero and that should pretty much do it. So while we're at it at this point, what I think we'll do is on the track barriers, we will disable that entire object because we're going to create new ones as we go along anyway. But seeing as this is now a dark area, let's have a quick look at creating some uh, headlights. So what I think I'll do is I'm going to move the terrain down just a fraction. So I'm going to have... Uh, maybe minus 0 0.1 and let's go on our car right click and let's go to light and let's go with spotlight so you can't really see much of what's going on at the moment but if we bring up this light bring it forward and let's align it with at least one of the headlights so about here maybe does that look pretty aligned? I think that should do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the spot angle to, let's say, 120. Increase the range so we've got a bit more range on it. And then increase the um, intensity to be a bit brighter. So we can already see we have something looking pretty decent here. What I think I'll do is rotate it upwards to about there. And then I'm going to hold control, press D, let's bring it over here. And now let's press play. So we can see our spotlights are taking effect. Now, getting these working just right can be sometimes a little bit of a chore because there's not a lot to actually learn when it comes to lighting. There's a lot to do about how it looks. So we'll more than likely work on it at a later date but this is the general idea of how your lighting is going to work and the same applies you can copy and paste them to your AI car. So we've got our second track kind of starting to work here so I'm going to save it I'm going to go to build settings and I'm going to add open scenes and this is number three. So hopefully you guys should know what to do now in your um, main track selection so if we go there Track select, go to our canvas, let's double click on Jimmy circuit, hold control, press D to duplicate, and let's move it over here. And what I'm going to do is change the source image back to background because I don't have an image for that nighttime view yet because the track is kind of incomplete, but we'll do it later on. I'm going to rename it to night circuit and rename the button to light circuit and I've already gone ahead at this point and written the little bit of code that we need but hopefully you guys should be able to kind of work it in somehow because it's, it's really 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 easy because we've already kind of written it with track one and it's just a case of having track zero one copy this area onto track two and change it to load scene three so then on our button object we still have that script and on night circuit we need to change the button option to track two and save. So now when we press play, we can select the night circuit. And the same also applies for selecting the first one. And you'll see it still takes us to that first one. So guys, next episode, what we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at some more mechanics, car selection, and we're gonna look at mostly that second track to get things, you know, more like a track. So guys, until that next episode, thank you very much for watching.